In this video, I am going to share with you some of my current projects and ideas and how I try constantly and desperately to maintain them all. My name's In Wills and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello, hello, and finally, hello. Yes, I am back. And I would like to say now that I am completely organized and focused what I'm doing and where I'm going. Well, I almost focused and clear. Well, focused enough to make this video, which I've written a script for. So I know what I'm going to say, hopefully. Anyway, this will all probably change tomorrow, but I wanted to share with you some of my current projects and ideas that I'm walking, work, walking on, working on. So I don't know what it is about me, but I like to have several projects and ideas all going on at the same time. Imagine that I'm a juggler and I have a lot of balls in the air. Can I say balls on a video? Well, I did twice. But anyway, keeping them all, them all up there requires some serious task management. And last week I took off the week um, off streaming just to collate everything that I'm working on and to try to add some sort of organisation to it. And... From that, I'm hoping to make content more consistently because I feel that I've fallen off the bandwagon. Yes, I, I flopped off to one side and I've been stumbling around at the edge of the road for some time, but now I've managed to hitch a ride on the next wagon. Yes, I'm all about analogies. So before we go any further, let's get some basics down and out in the open. OK, then I work full time, five days a week, sometimes Saturdays, you know, from eight o'clock in the morning till six at night, including travel time. And although I'm working from home now, um, sometimes I can get off at five, but I work full time. And in my spare time or in my other life, I consider myself a content creator. Now, I'm self-taught at everything. Um, any program that I use or any um, videos that I create or anything, cameras, software, everything like that, I've taught myself. And I tend not to outsource anything to anybody, mainly because I am not only some sort of control freak, but I want to upskill myself. I want to learn more and be more developed and, you know, invest time in using my brain to learn new skills. And one of the easiest ways of doing all that is to actually make things myself. And then I learn as I go along. So what am I working on in my content creator's life? Well, I must admit, I started to write a list and got really amazed by how much I'm actually doing and how much I'm actually create, creating every week. And remember, I work full time. I feel that I need to keep emphasizing that just in case you think I'm not doing enough. So what I thought I would do is just give a brief synopsis about what I'm actually getting up to. So number one, first up, streaming. I love streaming. It's its my love of my life. I enjoy it so much. I love the interaction with the in crowd, the fantastic community that surrounds me like a warm, cuddly blanket every time I'm streaming. And not only keeps me all nice and positive, but keeps me protected, keeps me safe as well. I try to be positive and enjoyable to watch and I'm streaming now most weekends always from two o'clock till six o'clock with um, ESL, Elder Scrolls Online and I've started to put some Black Desert in the morning and then on a Saturday night I of course do some um, role-playing games um, as well and I'm trying desperately to slip some things into weekdays as well. I have so many games that I want to play and share my journey with you with 
that I literally do not have enough hours in the day. And that's really unfortunate, but it's how I have to work. And number two, next up, podcasting. Yeah, I have two podcasts on the go. I have Mythwest Matters, which is my sponsored um, podcast by the fantastic The Design Mechanism. And my other really smaller podcast, The In Wheels Interval. Both are monthly, with the first one mainly focusing around guests and interviews and editing everything together. And the In Wheels Interval just featuring me. Yes, yours truly, me. The podcasts are both scripted. And for the Mithras Matters one, I have to organise interval uh, interviews a lot of the time in cross time zones, which I must say is an unbelievably difficult thing to do. I have to record both of the podcasts and then um, record other segments to go into the Mithras Matters. And with the in wheels interval, I script it all, then record it all myself. And then there's a huge amount of editing together, post-production to make everything sound good. Well, hopefully sound good. And then exported and shared to the world. Mithras Matters goes out on the first of the month and the in wheels interval goes out on the 10th of the month. So and no matter how hard I try, I always end up frantically trying to do the Mithras Matters video um, podcast, you know, the day before. It always happens. So we've had streaming and we've had podcasting. Okay, so third up on the list, this. Yes, my YouTube content. Now, there's such a lot in the YouTube content area. And I, when I started to write it all down, I thought, good grief, what are you doing in Wills? So I have personal videos like this one or when I talk about um, coping with anxiety and things like that. I have rules videos for Mithras, um, which is the previous um, sponsored content that I do for them. I have actual play videos um, from with Mithras from Twitch. I do a weekend streaming highlight clips every weekend now, which are very kindly um, clipped by one of my fantastic moderators, Gamer Guy, who does it, clips everything for me and it's all nice that I could just download and put them together. I've started uh, my Gibbering GM series, um, which has recently got resurrected when I sit in my comfy chair and talk to you about RPG games and being a GM and what I think. And finally, there is the Elder Scrolls Online Bite Size theory, uh, series, which I actually started when I was on holiday and it got me into Adobe's character animator. And I really loved that. And, you know, this that video takes a huge amount of time. I have to script it. I then have to lip sync the cartoon to it. Then I have to add things like um, head turns and blinking and moving arms around. And then I have to record the background footage from ESO that I need. I have to think about what I need and where to put it. And then I've got to um, put it all together in um, After Effects and export it, export it out for ESO Bite Size. Now, I've actually set myself to do one of these every month. And at the moment, I'm thinking that Monday will be script writing, Tuesday will be streaming, Wednesday will be like this, recording and editing, Thursday will be streaming, and then Friday, you know, something else that I need to actually get done. So what else have I got? Well, before we get on to the rest of the project, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to the channel. I've pr I try to produce so much content that you will enjoy. So please consider um, subscribing and following. And don't forget to comment as well, anything like that. I really appreciate that you take the time out um, to actually, you know, take time to type up what you're thinking. And remember, if you would like to provide some extra help, then the Patreon link and the Buy Me A Coffee link is in the comments below. Okay, let's get back to it. Where are we? 
number four, I think. So with number four, I'm going to loosely bring a whole load of things together and call them written content. So I've been a blogger for some time and it's something that I really enjoy doing, but I'm finding it uh, a lot of my written content that I used to produce have been transferred to videos and YouTube content. So in order to keep more going, the, the writing of blogs uh, actually sometimes becomes script writing. So for example, with my Gibbering GM um, videos, I write the blog post first, which is then becomes my script. And then I talk about it and make the video, then put the video at the top of the blog. Ah, see, I'm not stupid, clever, eh? Now, but as well as blogging, and if you're a fan of my written blogs, don't worry, they'll still be coming out, but I also like to write other things. And one of the things I like to dabble in is fiction. Now, I know this is not my strong point. <laughs> well, well, actually, none of the things I've said so far are probably my strong points, but I do like writing fiction. And suddenly I get this this idea that I want to write, it's very short, it's only a couple of pages long. I'm not writing a novel or anything like that, so it's short and to the point. And yeah, I like doing it. And you can actually read it if you wish. It's um, freely available on my um, webpage. Well, I say freely available. You don't. You can actually download it as a PDF. But you know, if you would like to give a small donation, then then that's that would be absolutely fine, either before or after. You know, and you, as you can see, I'm probably moving to monetize things. And this is not because I'm greedy, but because. I want to have more time to actually focus on my content creation. And it's the same with all of us. We all have this dilemma that, you know, it doesn't pay a huge amount. And I'm not, let's face it, I'm not at the top of the tree for YouTube content or streaming or writing fiction or anything. But, you know, I do sometimes wish that maybe it can have enough income to sort of like reduce my time at work or maybe even get, give up, you know, it's a dream. Now, as well as writing fiction and blog posts, I also had this idea of writing adventure notes. And what these are is that I take a, a, a session that I've created for my um, group and then I condense it into key points on two sides of A4 paper. Um, it's no, it's it's not specific to a uh, rule set. It's quite generic, and hopefully, you know, it's in a PDF form, just two sides of paper, and people can just sort of like go and grab it, you know, and maybe give me a small donation or whatever, and then use it in their own campaign. And do you know, it's only through um, talking about this that I also realise that. I am a GM, I'm a game master for a group. So as well as everything else, I constantly have to be making up adventures, running the campaign, bringing background information in, seeing what characters want, um, working on rules and making sure that's all correct. So yeah, that's another written content that I'm creating a lot of the time. Nearly there, nearly there. I promise you we are nearly there. And the last one really makes me smile because it's in Will's the artist. Yes. Do you know, I would love so much to make a serious contribution to the art world. Um, but my artistic skill is quite frankly, zero. But I don't want that to stop me. I really want to produce things that I like and I'm proud of. And as I'm trying to produce things, I'm learning more and more and more about Illustrator and Photoshop and things like that. I make all my own emotes and you probably sort of like think, yeah, we can tell, which, you know, I'm learning small steps, small steps. But I would also, as well as developing that, I would also love to be able to create artwork of a specific style, you know, something that I'm known for. And then, well, yeah, almost like animate it, you know, and actually bring it together. Now, I've always wanted to draw superheroes and uh, cartoon superheroes. That's always appeared to me. But 
after a few attempts and even though I practiced over and over again it was very much I recognized that this was not going to happen you know and um, pixel art has always appealed to me and playing some of the um, Geshen Impact game is it called on my PS4 I really like that style as well I don't know whether or not it's anime or manga or mango or whatever but yeah ideally I would like to draw some things and create things and then animate them I used to be a great user of flash um, but now it's called um, animate but I really like after effects which can be used as well and I know these are great dreams and you know people out there have spent all their life making animations or content and I'm sort of like you know way past the midpoint of my life trying desperately um, to do these things and the reason I want to do this really is that when I eventually leave this world and I don't mean going to Mars um, you know I want to have memories rather than dreams and I you know I really want that to be the case um, I also been working on my bot Inico and the um, so I've worked on that and sort of like created him and got him blinking and things like that and you know there's also the infamous um, but rather boring I series for in worlds when I tried to sort of like make the um, circle of the eye into different things I, I made it into a beholder for my merch store but yeah I mean it's there but I know it's not fantastic at all but you know I'm I want to give it a go and I want to actually try and achieve something and that is it I think and something might pop into my brain in any at any second all those plates are up and I'm constantly twirling the sticks trying to keep all the plates um, going I know I should really specialize and sort of like think this is what I'm doing but my altaholic nature uh, appears to cascade down onto my content creation as well and I just want to have so many there's so many things that I want to try and do and succeed at and you know I, I'm never going to be the best in the world at anything but I want to sort of like make my mark of on the world um, yeah so I hope there's something there that might grab your attention or entertain you and it would be lovely to have you along for the journey and hopefully you know you will engage and enjoy my content I'm going to try and keep everything going so do wish me luck I will need it and yeah hopefully you know I'll see you um, next week for another video yeah and we'll see how that goes so until next time have fun everyone and I'll catch you all later and until then well happy viewing see you all later see you bye